Hello ladies and gents, Ro here and welcome to Nonor Films. Today we're actually going to be beginning our tutorials for Motion, Motion 5 and our Motion Pro, some people call it. But for the first tutorial, I'm actually going to do like a quick preview, show you guys how to download it and uh, ask you guys personally if you guys want me to show you guys how to get it uh, online for free. And uh, so to begin, I'm actually going to go straight into your app store. This is where you'll, this is going to be the first place you're going to be able to find it is you, you go straight to your app store in the, the at your Apple, um, <laughs> down your computer basically. But uh, as you can see, I'm at the top chart. So I'm going to search here, top right hand corner, put in motion and it'll come up to motion here. Motion 5 is what it's mainly named for, but most of the time people just call it motion. And uh, just a quick definition of what motion is, just in case you guys don't know, I'm gonna begin uh, saying it's a design for video editors. Motion 5 lets you customize Final Cut Pro titles, transitions, and effects, or create your own dazzling animations in 2D, or 3D space with real-time feedback as you work. And as you can see, there's like a whole, uh, additional information here but that is the main definition of motion 5 mainly it's not really um to, for movie editing like it's not really for like you want to make a whole project make a whole movie in motion that's not really what it's designed for it's designed for like maybe like intros outros cool animations like spin arounds uh, really high effect and animated editing basically two videos uh, that's why it says uh, to create lets you customize Final Cut Pro titles transitions and effects and if you guys use iMovie or Final Cut Pro you guys should know what titles transitions and effects are that you can create additional ones for so now that we got the de description out of the way it is $49.99 the Motion 5 but uh, also if you can't find an app store you can also go to uh, your, go your browser here and uh, if you just search Apple Store or just sort of Apple Store Motion. Oh, so the first link will be Mac Apple Store Motion iTunes Apple. You'll find it online. It's forty nine ninety nine, and uh, the exact same thing. The newest version is five point one. So now that we got that out of the way, you can find it online. Like I said, I'm gonna minimize this, and I am actually going to close this out. As you can see, there's some images here, some reviews on, but I'm gonna actually close this out. And uh, also, like I said at the beginning of this uh, tutorial or preview, I did mention that we are going to be, uh, I, I can make a tutorial if you guys want me to. Um, just leave a comment below or give me any kind of message or like or <laughs> just leave a comment below. Let me know that you want me to make a tutorial on how you guys want to get a hold of motion without having to actually pay for it. But that's, uh, that's also, like I said, uh, it's recommended. I recommend you buy it. It it is the most efficient way, and that is this. It, you'll get the updates that way, and it'll be just it's just staying legit. So, and that I'm gonna open up Motion here. As you can see, I am gonna be running Motion, the newest version about Motion, Motion Five, Motion Five Point One, and uh, to uh, begin, I actually want you guys to basically familiarize with yourself with some of the th features and items you have on the screen. Honestly, the best way to do these tutorials, because there's honestly so many things you can do in motion. It's honestly like, I probably don't know 25% of the things you can do with motion five. So I'm, I'm actually gonna be learning when I do these tutorials with you guys. And, but most of it, I'm gonna be teaching to you guys, hopefully for your understanding. That's why I'm gonna be actually taking it kind of slow as well. Cause like I said, there is a lot to cover in motion five. And uh, familiarize yourself here, as you can see, you can have a blank. Blank is gonna be your standard, like when you're creating your own basically, and motion project is gonna be your standard. And then uh, most of the time you want the highest frames per second, which is gonna be 60 frames per second, which is what we will always be doing our projects in, not 29.97, I don't even know why that would be the standard here. And then uh, duration will most likely just keep it around 10 seconds, maybe go up to 20 seconds so we have more room to play around with, but then you can do the times code frames. But like I said, again, be sure to play around with this a little bit and the uh, highest resolution is always what we want. And uh, also, you can uh, these are where you can actually edit the titles and uh, you basically import them yourselves and you'll be able to edit them. But you can see, uh, let me show you all here. They're taking a little bit to load for me at the moment because I do have quite a bit of programs running at the time. But as you can see, I'm gonna hit all. You'll see some of the, they can actually give you ones where you actually start off with something already in your project. That way it's a little bit easier for you to edit. But like I said, we're gonna be starting out from a blank project and we'll, we'll just work up from there. 
And as you can see, there's just a few items here already that you can use to start out with. And that's actually, it's actually pretty darn cool. Look at it, like that, these little animations here. And uh, yeah, there you have it. And then you can also import your own and edit them through Motion 5. But that, I believe that is everything for the preview. And uh, I'm not actually gonna open up a project, or actually I will. Let me just do standard 60 frames per second. We're gonna go duration, we're gonna go 20 seconds. We're gonna go just uh, 4K is the Ultra HD. And uh, that's actually the new format that people are, it's, YouTube's gonna start supporting it, or I believe it already does support it. 4K is apparently way higher than 1080p. If you don't know what 4K is, it's just this new thing they just released. So we might be working with 4K, but right for now we're gonna start with broadcast HD 1080, which is what we wanna just start off with and go 60 frames per second. It might change it back to 29 seconds. I mean, 29 frames per second because this just might not support yeah, you might not even support 60 frames per second for some reason. And then it also depends on what kind of animation you're working with. So I'm going to open a project and I'll show you guys with all, of, all the items that are going to be on your screen. So like I said, try to familiarize yourself with some of these things. Like by What I mean by familiarize is going to uh, over an item and basically reading what it says. Adjust 3D Transform. As you can see right there, and it tells you the command quick key, command key for it as well. And if you go over this one, it says pan tool. You go down on it, it tells you pan tool, and then you got these different cursors here as well, which you'll just, just like I said, <laughs> I'm repeating myself for like the fourth time, but I just want to make things clear. Uh, just get, try to get yourself familiar with some of these things. And uh, for now, um, thank you guys for watching the first tutorial, first preview, and I uh, hope you guys will join me in this uh, Motion 5 tutorial series. And uh, I'll do my best explaining everything, but like I said, also leave comments below, and I'll get back to you guys as soon as possible. Thank you guys for watching, and later. Let my life be the proof, the proof of you.